Here we are in one of the reddest cities, in one of the reddest counties, in one of the reddest states. But we put the silly national politics aside to do what's best for the people we were elected to serve. And the best thing to do was to sign contracts for wind and solar. Currently, we're 90% renewable energy. In the spring, we'll be the largest city in the country that will be 100% renewable energy. And I think we're getting a fresh approach because the national politics is, Texas wasn't supposed to do this. That's, a, that's this liberal progressive idea up in the Northeast. They should be doing that. But the decision was first and foremost an economic decision. Here, everything that we do in the city is built on 30-year horizons. So in my case, when it came to power, that meant taking a 30-year outlook on what the cost of the energy is. The best part about renewable energy is that with a solar panel, or even a wind turbine for the most part, it's not difficult to keep them working, and they have no fuel cost. So in 30 years from today, they will be making energy that costs nothing to the market. <laughs>